Hey guys, it's your girl Kara's Crystal Visions. Welcome, newbies in betweens and OGs. Thank you, thank you so much for always supporting your girl, becoming and staying a part of the family, getting that clarity and that confirmation when it resonates that you need. I love you guys to life. Thank you, thank you. You could be anywhere in the world today, baby, but you here with me, all right? If you wanna check out my social medias, the link is in the description box below, all right? And if you would love to be so generous, I do accept donations. That is also in the description box below. All right, babies, let's see what's going on. Okay. So we got no money, no talking, all right? Not wanting to talk unless money is involved. Hustling, getting to the bag at all costs. So... You ain't trying to hear it if it doesn't make dollars. I hear if it doesn't make dollars, it don't make sense. If it's not conducive to your growth, to your expansion, to helping your purpose, to dwelling in your happiness when it comes to your passions, right? As far as your career field, as far as being a service to the collective, as far as stabilizing yourself in your material world. When it comes to partners with business, when it comes to partner relationships, if it ain't about the stability, the growth, the expansion, which includes money, okay? My bad, my phone cut out. But what I was saying was you're not with it, okay? You're not with the struggle of, you're not with betting on people's potential. You are directly evaluating people for what they show you right here and right now. And if that potential that they show you is really leading towards success when it comes to overall, not just financial, but internal healing, external care when it comes to your body, your temple, right? Healing your mental, that's that internal work, and as well as having some type of determination or strive to want better for yourself and your future generations, this is the person or the people when it comes to friends, when it comes to lovers, family members that you want to hang around, okay? Now, Side note, you're not all about, oh, if you don't have the money that I have or the status that I have, I won't deal with you. No, you even deal with people that have genuine love and support towards you, okay? But for those that you feel only wants to misuse you and take you for granted or you're not dumbing down or accepting less than anymore. Okay, so if you feel like these people are less than users, opportunists, ungrateful, unappreciative, and you might test these people, <laughs> you are going to keep it pushing, okay? Because at the bottom of the deck, baby, you chilling. You're happy. You're content. You did a lot of work physically, mentally, spiritually, and on your career. And you're like, um, listen, when it comes to friends, you ain't got to be, you know, on my level financially. But mentally you do. Supporting me, feeding my fire, you do. But when it comes to love interests, no, they got to meet you where you at, boo. They got to meet you where you at, okay? Spirit says, take that, take that, like, diddy. <laughs> because the truth is, right after that, people want to sabotage you. And you're not giving them the chance to, I love this energy. You are fully focused on you. Like you have a nonchalant, I don't kind of give a fuck attitude when it comes to anyone that is outside of your importance. That's really not important to you, okay? Or that has shown you their true colors. Let's see what else. 
Okay, so you do have groupies, boo thing. Yes, you do, okay? Can't be alone. Always has to partner up with someone tagging along just for the sake of it, okay? This new you, boo, okay? This glown up, transformed, revitalized, reinvented, I'm hearing you, um, has pulled in so many more options. So many more. Or this is going to concur very, very soon, all right? Because you're working on yourself. And the more you work on yourself, the more you transform, the more people are drawn to you, your light, okay? And what you have to offer, because you got a lot to offer, baby. And as you're chilling, right, it says, being really comfortable in the life that you have created for yourself, not wanting to do the most, right? You're at ease and you're at peace with the world. <laughs> And I'm hearing that you could be a bachelor or a bachelorette, all right, focusing on building your empire, whatever that means to you, okay? And you have people that just jump from relationship to relationship or that literally uses friend to friend that sees something in you that they can possibly take, okay? Okay? And they want to come and disturb your peace or they want to get to know you. Now, this could be a friend or someone that you're newly getting to know or you are newly going to get to know. This could be just a platonic friendship. This could be, you know, this person wants to do friends with benefits. This could be a work friendship, okay? And you don't push it no further. You're just friends at work. When you off the clock, you don't know this person. <laughs> I'm dying. I don't know who this is for, but that's the message that I'm getting. And this person is all over you when you come to work. Or every time they see you, they're all over you. They're giving you compliments. They're wanting to basically not even leave. Like, you ever have one of those people that just keep talking and keep talking or just, you know, keep sitting there. You got things to do and you're like, uh, but you don't want to be rude and tell them that, you know, um, I have other things to do or I need to do my work or I can't spend time with you today. <laughs> or you could be purposefully ignoring these people because, like I said, they don't have what you want, what you deserve, what you desire. A lot of these people, you've overheard them in conversations, private conversations, professional conversations, and you're like, oh, hell no. I would never deal with these people, period, okay? But you keep that to yourself, and you give out such a beautiful, joyous, loving energy, as always, because <laughs> you're at peace with yourself. You're fully within who you are. You know exactly who you are and what you want, right? And you have also groupies that look up to you. Low vibrational energies that, that, that look up to you, that want to be you. Some of them want to... Ah, actually be you, okay? So be careful, okay? You have genders, I'm hearing, female and male, the same gender that want to be with you, okay? Doesn't matter if you're heterosexual, bisexual, transsexual, pansexual, whatever. You have the same sex wanting to be with you, okay? But I feel like for whoever this read resonates for, the options that are presented in front of you or that keeps trying to get to know you is not the options that you are intrigued by. It's like the options that you want to come towards you, they're scared. But the options that have nothing to lose, but everything to gain when it comes to you, oh, they shoot, they shot, they're in your inbox, they're you know, tapping your friend for your number all day, all day. But what you would do is because you are not closed off, you may even converse with some of these options to see where their mentality is. But then you realize at the bottom of the deck, they ain't nothing but children in adult bodies. <laughs> Acting a fool, someone who knows they are being childish and goofy, but doesn't care when the situation calls for maturity. Yeah, these people that you chose to converse with, well, maybe I'm being, you know, unrealistic or overbearing, or maybe my, you know, 
expectations may be a little high. You know, you, you have these talks with yourself, but then when you give these individuals just a teensy bit of your time you're like hell no i know i ain't tripping like no i'm not gonna fray or double back on my boundaries and what i want and what i've asked god for you like now nah, i'm good i'm chilling until god gives me or until i serendipitously auspiciously bump into the person that i am meant to be because right now you got a lot of groupies even your friends is groupies if you have friends, okay? They put you on a pedestal. They know that you're ordained for a, I hear, a rich and lavish lifestyle, okay? Because you're working diligently towards that. A, a easy, a, a happy, fulfilled lifestyle. So they don't want to um, miss out on that. Some of these friends are opportunists, just be careful. But then you have the friends that are just fans, they really support you, okay? And then you have friends that want to be more than friends. But you're like, eh, nah, I'm good, okay? So let's see what else. Because you are high vibe. You're high vibing. You're in a whole different energy bracket I'm hearing, okay? It says high vibrational person, energy that feels good, light, and easy. And if these individuals that want to be new friends, right, or new companions, if they're not on the same energetic wavelength, you are not even parting your lips to say hello. And you can feel these people energetically before you even talk to them. When you stand next to them, when you look at them, you can see their aura. Some of them, you can see the demons on them, okay? If they are karmic, and you're like, oh, hell no, okay? Hell no, I don't work too hard to make my world peaceful, my inner world, okay? All right, so let's see what else. All right, so we got two that came out. We have low vibes. Exactly. And this is the energy that these individuals, friends, groupies, stalkers, secret admirers for some of you guys, ex-partners, ex-friendships, ex-husbands and wives, carry. Okay? And that's why you are a bachelor or bachelorette. Because you don't have time to deal with this shit no more. All right? Low vibrational person. Energy that feels dark, dense, and heavy. Harboring suffering, fear, and anger. And these people want to drain your energy. Suck off of you because you are, I told you, in a different energy bracket. Okay? You are a healer. You have transmuted and healed yourself in many, many ways. And instead of these people doing the work, they want to use you to heal them. Maybe you allow them in the past so they think that they can come back and do it again. But little do they know they're going to get rejected harshly. Okay? Because you don't have time for anyone to interrupt, I hear, your peace. Okay? Some of them want to have sex with you. So you can heal them energetically that way to interrupt your peace. Right? You worked hard to get to this vibrational energy so that everything that you ask for can flow into you you be damned you be damned right ah! money problems i ain't got a lot listen you know that these people are opportunists gold is glitter fraud fake and phonies okay that they display on social media maybe they tell i hear little white lies or lies in general to everybody around them about oh they're so prosperous Things are going amazing in their life, but the truth is, is that they're low vibrational and they have bad money problems, okay? They are trying to keep up with the Joneses and you don't give a fuck about none of that. You will wear Primark, Ross, Walmart clothes and still have mad money in the bank. These people try to put on facades and name brand clothes and high expensive cars and the finest dining all the while going in debt, bankruptcy, broke as hell in the background, okay? It says someone could be in debt to their credit cards, burning through cash, irresponsible with money. And then they look at you and they see that you got money in the bank, that you know how to budget, how to save, how to invest in yourself, in your future. And now these groupies are trying to get 
a piece of the pie. Okay? But you like, ah, 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 motherfuckers. Not today. I know that's right. Yes! I'm loving this energy. At the bottom of the day, what I just say? Ah, 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 ah. Not the motherfuck today. You will tell a motherfucker off quick when they are trying to use you, abuse you, take advantage of you, steal from you in any way, even if that got to do with your energy or your flower or your wang. You don't got time for the shit. And you don't care if you come across as a bitch, as arrogant, because you will be kind and generous to those that deserve it. But once they cross the line, they cross the motherfucking line. Okay? This person has no filter. Boo, you ain't got no filter. You've had it in the past being considerate, but you realize these motherfuckers ain't got no consideration for you. Period. Period. And if you're not paying for anything for them, if you're not giving them money, if you're not benefiting them in any type of way, then they don't even want to deal with you. Get the fuck out of here. Anyway, it says saying nasty-ish has a tendency to say very critical things to people. And this is how these low vibrational projecting victims feel towards you when you tell them their own truths about themselves. Basically, you're reading these people. You can read a motherfucker to feel, like I said, before you even talk to them, before they even open up their mouth, right? So you allow them to talk. And then you give them the rope to hang themselves. And after that, you give them a piece of your mind if they persist to try to continue to manipulate you. Because you don't have time for the shit. All right? For those that already manipulated you and used you, you gave them a piece of your mind and you cut the motherfuckers off. And they, oh, you're so critical. You're so harsh. You got a nasty, filthy mouth. You curse too much. Well, listen, motherfuckers. You should have never tried me. You're the type of person that could look very innocent, sweet, kind, and this is what you really are. But when a motherfucker tests you, they done tested the wrong one. You hear me, honey boo boo child? Like, when they realize underneath all that sweetness, you are very, very aware, very intellectual, very smart, very in tune. Oh, they done fuck with the wrong one, okay? Now motherfuckers want to be more than friends. Okay, now motherfuckers want to be sorry because they got caught, but it's not, it's not legit. It's not real. <laughs> As I was literally flipped the car, jealousy. They're jealous. Okay? Listen, once the one you're with, you have friends or someone around you that either wants your person or that wants you. And they are like literally all up in your life. Some of you guys are just single. Like I said, bachelorette, bachelor. And some of you guys are in a relationship. And man, you got mad groupies because of whatever you do for work or how beautiful or handsome you are, how you are considered to be, you know, pretty much a lot of people's wish fulfillment because you got the money, the intellect, you're vibing high, you're sexy as hell, um, you're a great friend. Your life is going amazing for real for real versus the facade that these individuals have to put on okay you're really authentic and they're jealous that whoever you're with gets to have you because these individuals want you or your person okay they see that you have great great friendship skills like you're a great friend and these friends that really wanted more from you, not just sex, but they wanted your money and they wanted your destiny too. They are in regret now that you pay them no attention because the whole time you were thinking that these friends were giving you good advice, were supporting you, was supporting this relationship that you were in or supporting your singlehood. Um, these friends had your best interest. The truth is they were only around you because they had money problems because they had no sense of direction for themselves because they wanted the person that you were always raving about, right? Because you gave off so much when it comes to your energy, when it comes to your time, when it comes to your generosity and these people gave you nothing in return, nothing compared to what you gave. On top of the fact that they want to steal your motherfucking man or woman. 
okay? Or your person has so-called friends that they are realizing that they're not really friends. They're only friends because they want them. And every chance they get, they talk shit about you, but your person is realizing these motherfuckers is only groupies and they're low vibrational. And if they keep dealing with these individuals, they're only going to cause problems within your relationship. And because these individuals are moochers, okay, they would basically cause money problems in your relationship too. All right, like I said, this could be friends or friends of your person, okay? And I feel like your person has good intent, okay? If you are dealing with someone, but the friends don't. They got a completely different hidden agenda. Also, your person's friends may want you, okay? And these friends could be the same sex. So it goes both ways. You have some of your friends that are very toxic, okay, that has a facade, that want your person, and then you have your person friends that are toxic and are hiding the fact that they want you. But you and your person only want each other. That's if you're in a connection, okay? And these friends want to keep asking y'all for money, asking y'all for favors, and it's going to really weigh down on this connection, so it's time to deuces when it comes to these users abusers and mo moochers all right because you and your person are getting to the bag are creating a really stable life or planning to create a really stable life a high vibrational life um for you and your children or just you and them if children are not in play but regardless these friends okay or whoever these individuals are that are options of yours you might have gave them a time of day or you completely ignored them because <laughs> like i said for some of you you're by yourself right now enjoying yourself you feel me and you got people lovers friends families whichever situation resonates they are spying on you via tarot cards via a reader okay someone is consulting a tarot card reader to get information on you getting readings on you asking a psychic okay and this reader is basically saying that you ain't with the shits and that your ancestors are fully blocking these individuals that are getting these readings on you to see where your life is headed because you're truly destined for abundance and prosperity and happiness in all areas of your life because you did the work, because you are of service to a broader cause, I'm hearing, okay? While these people just use, manipulate, and be toxic, you are destined for something greater and these people are not. So as they're getting these readings, it's like your ancestors will not allow them to tap into anything of the past, because that's the past. You have already healed that, you moved on from that. So they are getting little inklings of what's to come in your future. And, oh, these groupies are like going to try to pin you down, lock you down. Okay, these options, these exes. Mm, shit, somebody, some of you guys, maybe for a couple of you, is someone that you're with that is dealing with a third party situation. And um, in order to make sure that you don't find out about this third party situation, they've been getting readings to see if you are aware, to keep you in the dark. Um, a third party also, this friends that want your person, these friends that want you, but you may not even know. Um, these friends also, oh my God, there's so many messages, that want to interfere with your stability because you are ignoring a lot of people right now. Like, you got your back turned to a lot of people enjoying your life. I love it. <laughs> you ain't got time. These individuals are constantly getting readings on you so that they can come back, okay? Some of them feel like they are your divine counterpart. Are they? You will know that intuitively, instinctively, okay? Um, but some of them are deeming like, that's my, that's my one. Okay, for some of you, it could be, but that's a real small percentage when it comes to this spread we're looking at right here. And if you are in this relationship that is toxic, that 
involves a third party and this third party is doing readings on you to see if you would find out or if this person is going to leave you of sorts. Um, this third party is basically aware that you're aware of them by consulting tarot card readings, okay? Um, your person is also possibly aware that you may be aware of them because a third party could have told them this, okay? And this third party basically shits on your name and your person, if they are still involved, they're allowing this, okay? Because the third party is intimidated by you and your person has no backbone for if this message resonates, if you are in a connection and you know that there's a third party, okay? Uh, but this third party is intimidated. Your person is intimidated because they are scared to get found out because the truth is the only reason why the third party is even competing with you is because they're jealous of you. And once you let this person go, they're going to let this person go too. And I feel like your person knows this. And they're going to have money problems. They're going to be in low vibration. And they're going to be considered just another groupie as you move on with your life. That message is for who it's for. A lot of you, or maybe half of you, are single than a motherfucking Pringle here. Okay? And you, your friends just want to invade your love life. Okay, so be careful, man. Be careful on who you vent to. So many messages, okay? But if you're in a healthy connection, you have outside interferences. Your friends, their friends that are trying to get with you or your person, okay? They groupies and they just want what y'all have. So just be careful. Now, this truth on all situations and circumstances will be unveiled or is being unveiled. And this is why you're acting the way you are. You're tired of people, low vibrational, jealous energy when it comes to the fact that you're just focused on bettering you and your circumstances within your life. Now, some of these individuals definitely are masculines that have beards or mustache. We have feminines that are fair skin, masculines that are fair skin. Um, we have Asian descent, African American. Um, we also have Spanish descent. Um, the feminine could have short hair, long hair, um, wear hats. The masculine could wear a man bun, um, braids, fades, a cut, um, could like to dress dapper. The masculine energy here could be uh, very humorous, all right? This could be someone that you're with healthily, unhealthily, or these are just individuals, groupies, options, ex-friends, friends that you're dealing with that you need to cut off, that basically are in the equation of this read, okay? So you will know who is who. Some of these people live in a warmer climate like California, Florida, Texas, um, or these people right now, because it's summertime, this is very prominent. This message is very prominent, okay? Some of these people act like they have a lot of money, right? Or they could be in the public eye, but the truth is that they're suffering in silence. They're really trying to outdo you, but you are paying these individuals no mind. All right, then you have people or options that are coming towards you that want to date you, want to be with you, but they're not on your level. Let's be just honest here. They see you coming up. They see you are a hustler. They see you got your A game on, okay, in every aspect, as far as your finances, how you look, your characteristics, how good of a mother or father you are. If you have children, you know where you're going in life. Um, you have the key to life. A lot of people are um, saying and uh, by all means necessary, they're trying to get in your energy. Okay, so be careful, be careful, please. Okay, a lot of these people are just woo, in survivor mode, I'm hearing, survival mode. Okay, they're not coming with pure intentions whatsoever. Because the truth is they're after your fortune. Right? But a lot of these people will put on a facade like they have what you have, but you can read them. So you're like, oh, I'm good. I'm Gucci. 
okay? A lot of these people will present themselves like they are the official person, but they are not, okay? If you are with your official person, the other messages apply when it comes to the jealousy, the hate, the envy, and your friends are their friends wanting to be with your person, okay? And uh, woo, you got somebody that is trying to work hard to get your person behind your back. Um, they're messaging your person. I don't know if your person is telling you this. Like they don't want to make more of whoever this person is messaging them or trying to get to know them than what it is because this person is insignificant in their eyes, like completely. And it's driving this person insane. This could be a friend of yours or this could be someone you don't even know. This could be someone that works with them or someone that works with you and you showed your person's Instagram or picture to said person and now they've been stalking them, trying to get to know them on the low, um, trying to replace you, but your person sees you as irreplaceable. This is not for the third party, okay? The person that you could be with that has a third party, you know this, no. This is for someone that you're with and they really love you. They're in for the long run, okay? And they're realizing that y'all both got groupies, y'all both, are realizing that it's a lot of energies that are against this connection. And it may not even be their family, your family. It may be just outside insignificant people. Like friends, family, you know what I'm saying? Um, bystanders, co-workers. And some people you don't even consider as friends. You consider them as associates. All right? Now, some of these people you do. You consider them, oh, my bro, my sis. Be careful. For sure, all right? But the truth is you're on your right path, okay? People didn't think that you were even going to get where you are right now. But you will become and get even further than what you even thought. And it's because you're in flow, you're chilling, you're relaxing, you're allowing, you're receiving. You're at peace. You're surrendered. Okay? Now, some of you, as you are a bachelor or bachelorette, you're going to get a message from a mature masculine or feminine. And they're going to basically express to you about their past relationship that you may be privy to, that you may know of, okay? This could be a friend of some sorts. And this friend could be more compatible with you, could be your high-level soulmate or twin flame, okay? And they see that you're doing great. They're not a groupie. They're completely different. But they're going to let you know that they ended a karmic cycle, okay? Okay? And, um, of course, you're in your own world and you're not really worried or fixated on love. And boom, that's when love comes in. This is a person that could be more compatible with you. And you're going to have a lot of jealous friends, a lot of envy, man, because this person is on your level, literally. And I hear power couple, couple goals. And I feel like this person is great with their money. They got a lot of money. They're great with their investments. Um, everything that they have, they worked so hard for. They have groupies too, just like you. They could be in the public eye, okay? They have a high calling on their life like you do as well. They're high vibing. They don't have time for low vibrational draining or pessimistic people, right? Same wavelength. You could either meet this new mature gentleman soon or this is a friend that you could possibly look over, Okay? that is going to come around and basically let you know how they feel, okay? But that is the messages that I am getting. You are on the right path, baby. If you were wondering, you're on the right path. Even if you're single by yourself, you're on the right path. If you are about to leave a toxic relationship that is including a lot of third parties that are supposed to be friends, and you need to leave, you're on the right path. If you're in a loving relationship and your person is holding you down 10 toes, baby, and could even be having conversations, letting you know about these friends. You're on the right path. This is the person you're supposed to be with. This new friend that's going to come in because you're a bachelor, a bachelorette. Could be from the past. Could be completely new. Okay? Maybe you want to even start a business with you. Because if it ain't about money, you ain't talking. So they may even maneuver in that way. Okay? But they have good intentions. And you guys are going to go on a really great journey together okay you're on your right path spirit is saying that is the message please like subscribe hit the bell button so you guys know when i am posting okay until next time my loves i love you to life bye